So in this video, we will solve a SQL question which is based on window functions. So let's begin. Just imagine that you are working as a data analyst for the gaming industry and your team wants to understand the player behavior to enhance user experience and engagement on the platform. And they are requesting you to write a SQL query to calculate the running total of uh, games played for each player over time. Let's understand with the help of uh, the information that you have been given. So you have been given a table which contains uh, four columns, player ID, device ID, event date and the games played. And since you have to calculate the running total of games played for each player over time, you would like to see a list of every player, the date which is nothing but the event date and the total number of games they have played up to that day. So you would like to see this kind of output. So which will contain player ID, event date and the total number of games played. So let's understand with the help of explanation here. So here if we see for the player ID 1 from the table, for the event date 2016-0301, he has played 5 games so far. Now for the same player ID here, for this, for this particular date, which is nothing but 2016-0502, he has played 11 games so far because we will be adding 5 previous games plus 6 games uh, for this present date. So the total games will be 11 games played for this particular date. Similarly, we will be calculating uh, for 2017-0625 and uh, this, this will come out to be 12 games played so far for this player on up till this date. Similarly, we will be calculating for the player 2. So for the player 2, we can see that for the date 2016-0302, as we can see from the table, 0 games played so far. So this is how it will be coming. Now for the table, uh, sorry, for the event date 2018-0703, he has played 5 games so far. 5 games so far. This is because uh, the z uh, he, he already played 0 games. So the 0 plus 5 will come out to be 5 games played so far. So now we can see that uh, we have to calculate the running total of the games played. So now the question is how will we calculate the running total of the games played from uh, for this question. So now the thing is we will make use of some function combined with the help of uh, window function to calculate the running total of games played. Now the question is why we are using the window function? This is because window function helps us to perform calculations across a set of table rows that are related to the current row. And these are unlike aggregation functions that do not group rows because aggregation functions group rows and the window function do not group rows into a single output row but instead they compute values for each row separately and that's what we want in our output we want uh, for e for each uh, every pe uh, player id and uh, for the specific event date we want to calculate the total number of games played so now uh, since uh, we we are applying the window function here we will uh, have to uh, also apply the partition by clause so the partition by clause we will be applying on the player ID to ensure that our running sum calculation restarts for every player. This is what we can see in our output. So there we will do the partition by on player ID. And within the window function we will use the order by clause to order the data by event date. So now we will write our SQL query in MySQL workbench. So let's get started. Guys here I have already imported uh, the table and the table name is game count. And now we want to calculate the running total of uh, each player ID for each uh, for the event date. So here I will write my query. So whatever the columns that I want to retrieve, I'll just write the names of those columns. So now uh, here I want to retrieve my player ID and event date, event date. And uh, third column will be the total number of games played. So now to find the total number of games played, as we already discussed, we will make use of some function here. So the sum function will be applied on, on uh, games played column because we want to calculate the sum of the to sum of the games played. So we are applying sum function, and since it is a window function, so the sum will be applied over over the window function. And here I, I'll make use of the partition by clause, partition by clause on the player ID. 
this is because uh, as we already said that we want to make sure that our running some calculation restarts for every player and that's why we want to uh, we want to apply the partition by partition by clause on the player id column and also we will do the order by order by clause on the event date on the event date column cool so this is uh, this is my window function and i'll just name this column as my total games played games played now i want to retrieve it from my table and the table name is game count game count uh, you can also do the order by operation here if you want for example i just want to order by my player id first and then games played so far sorry yeah total games total games played it's not mandatory and also it is not given in that query but if in case you can do that so just execute this and see what we have got for each player we have got the total number of games played up till this event date so this is uh, only what we wanted to find in our output so i hope you understood the solution i'll uh, also explain i'll just explain the query once again what we did here is we just uh, selected whatever the columns that we want to retrieve here in our select statement uh, so select statement helps us to retrieve the uh, names of the columns that we want so here i have retrieved three columns player id event date and to find the total number of games played i have made use of the window function and it will calculate the running sum of games played so far for each player and the partition by clause here is partitioning the data by player id and the order by clause is ordering the data within each partition by event date and uh, we can see that uh, this uh, for this window function the result is assigned as alias as total games played which is nothing but the alias of a new column total games played and uh, i just did it from our uh, table name and then at last i have just applied the order by clause to sort the result set by first by uh, player id and then by total games played in ascending order so this is this is all about the solution i hope you understood it uh, let's meet in the next video guys thank